boys 303 and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood voice audio hopefully and everything. In the last episode we arrived, ooh an item, yay free. Right, we arrived here at the resistance headquarters and had a big business meeting. And I also did discover that we can just fly and come back here. If you do fly away from Sutopolis City to get back all you've got to do is walk back through the abandoned mines and press on Cassidy Rock again. And then it'll just bring you back outside of Sutopolis City. So I did just go back and do another like separate save file in front of Gabriella. At, well, get in front of Gabriella again. This episode I'm planning to, well, head on into the Necropolis and probably spend about 12 years in there because there's a big maze, which I'm anticipating I'm getting lost at. Ready to head out? Meet your Cecil Fly to the secret entrance we discovered to the Necropolis. Sure, let's go because lord knows we need all of the luck we can get. Are you alright? That was a rather rushed landing. I'm fine. Very well then, Steven, Izumi and Izumi are just here. I can see that. Does, did Meteor make like a bike track when he got here? We're all here then, let's get moving. Okay, come Tori. Do dragons not have feet? Do they have wheels? <laughs> is this how is this how Charizard works? Does Charizard have wheels that we don't that we secretly don't know about? Oh dear! Right, let's head inside. Oh, we can run. Oh, what's up here? <gasps> oh, hold on! I just had an idea. Could this be where the what do you call him is? Oh, we could have gone down there. The Oh, I was going to say, could this be where that, uh, um, the Chikua salesman who you give the Parchi sword to, maybe, right, we came from up there, right, let's go, in. and you know it's sad when you get stuck, you know, just getting into somewhere, oh look, it's that battle zombie that murdered us slightly, right, da da da, Okay, Yang, according to our information, the passage to the main base has a narrow entrance, but is wide enough for three to walk abreast. Those words sound familiar. Really? Can't think why. Come on then, you go first and we'll follow. We shall be right behind you. You are the smallest. Well, you're gonna have to move. Steven, help. It's kind of bad for us to make you go first. We'll go to check if it's safe before we make you go. All clear! Right, we can go in now. If the the information was wrong, you could only fit two pe one or two people in there. Remind me never to trust J.R.R. Tolkien again. Anyway, where is everyone? They must have gone on ahead to carry out their tasks. I guess that just leaves me okay to the incarceration chamber. Necropolis Hood, top left, passages south. Top right, passages west, bottom right, passages east, and bottom left, passages north. And we shall head north. This is the pit that leads down to the northern passages where the incarceration chamber, incarceration chamber is. You should go down. Should it not be, should you go down? Oh well, we don't get a choice in the matter. Right, and this is the part I was on about spending 12 gears in because it's just one big Maze and there's oh there's wild Pokemon in here as well. Um right, where are we meant to be going? I have no idea if I'm honest. Can we go this way? Sure, let's go this way. Ooh. Oh, we can't even get that way. I was gonna say going to the right there looked like a promising direction. Can we hop up here? Oh, it just looks like there's zombie Pokemon in here. Right, we can head up here. Can we go right? We can indeed. -y. Oh, well, it did look promising, not anymore. Uh, can we get up there and maybe go round? Um, I'm guessing we can get somewhere from going round. Uh, let's keep going, see where it takes us. I don't know, but I heard a marrow. Uh, well, I can't see anything. Let's go up. That looks like it just takes... Oh, no, it takes us to this higher bit. It's okay, then. We may be getting somewhere, but I don't, in honest, in all honesty, have a clue. 
fights. Okay, we may actually be getting somewhere. Um, I was about to say the only way is up, but we're going down. Oh, there's that Marl again. Oh, look, we, we are somewhere. Oh, but do we go left or right? Oh, I'll go left. Boink, boink. <laughs> hmm. Now, it looks like we need to get there, apparently. And I do recall roughly... Oh, there's a ride on there. How do we get... How do we get to it? Can we get to it? Yes, Marl, I hear you. Or Gravel, or whatever you want to be called. There we go, we've reached the ride on, I'm presuming. <laughs> Only to be stopped by that Marl. Ride on, grrr. His roar shook the ground. Apologies for that inconvenient and random cut, but my recording software decided to take it upon itself to just not continue recording for some reason. So even though I finished the entire episode, it suddenly decided that it just didn't want the last 10 minutes of it, so I've had to re-go and start again, or at least from the ride on, on screen. But the good thing about this is at least I have some sort of idea of where I'm going now, so that's always fun, and I can get through it quicker. Um, I think I've gone the wrong way. I have indeed gone the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Nope, we want to go round. And then can we go up from here? We can. So let's super speed hop all the way to eternity. Because apparently that's a destination. But then, it, but then again, saying that bridge hopping to eternity does sound like it being a Pokemon theme song. We got a bridge hop to eternity. And then something about you and me being friends forever. Or making it sound like some corny love song as they always do. Uh, there we go, we can go left. I say left, there we go, we've made it. Again, finally. They've been frozen in carbonite? Is this for real? And yes, it's one of the few references in this game that I get. I guess it must be. Fine, I'll push the concealed switches one by one. This one. Move to holding room B. This one. To holding room B. This one. Guess what? And this one to holding room B. Unauthorized movement of prisoners. Oh, damn it. Somebody must have noticed. I have to rescue those hostages quickly. Right, okay, now can we free these people? You push the release button. Aha! With a weird accent. It is I, the Trick Master. Never heard of you. Eh? Really? But I'm famous! Well, thanks for freeing me. Senex locked me up because I was so tricky, I threatened his reign of terror. I must go to train to become more tricksome. Well, whatever. He was weird. Well, then again, everyone is. You push the release button. Oh my god, May? It's me, Tori, the one and only. But you... You... You look so bland. That's it? No, hi, May. Glad, glad you're okay just to comment on how I look? Uh... Well, let me tell you something. You showed up and stole all the hero overworlds from Landon and I. And the cutlerine can't spare any of the ones to reinsert our custom ones. So it's your fault we look like this. Uh, sorry? Apology accepted. Now free London. <sighs> okay. God, it's good to be out of there. London! Tori. Oh my god, it's you. How did you get... Whoa, you freed us? You've got so strong. Hate to break this up, guys, but London, we need to clear off. We're pretty weak right now and can't help in a fight. Uh, yeah, Tori, I'll speak to you later, okay? May and I will just go to the Resistance Headquarters. Damn, forgot to ask him about my past. Never mind, I can do that later. Right now, I need to meet up with the others and take down that necromancer. This one contains Wally. Eh, who cares. Alert, alert, prisoners have been released without caution. All guards and it's Steven's job to deal with the zombies. So we're in for a fight once we get out of this maze. And why do I know this maze so well? Because this recording... Well, this area has failed three times already. Oh dear, that's why I seem so in a rush to get out of here. It's because I am. Right, so let's hop up here. 
And oh look, we're almost out. Dun 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 dun! Rah. And since it's an eye eye, it'll... Okay. Took a lot more damage than I was expecting, so we... I didn't mean to use Earthquake, but we've done it anyway. Um, and we'll switch into Lydia for Poison Slash. And one last eye eye for Iron... Well, I was going to say Iron Slam, but Earthquake will work. Apparently it won't. Right. Defeated that severed head, and I assume... Well, I'll take the Ultra Ball first, and we've got this Head Slinger. Do we? This here is the most powerful handgun in the world. You have a Pokeball on a head, Clint. Okay, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to respond to that. Um, Egg Bomb, Egg Bomb will do. Oh, apparently it won't. Nope, apparently Egg Bomb won't. Refuse us to hit now. And it knows Hyper Beam as well. Oh well, free punch. And another anti-spiral soul just sky cut it then. I Alice lie about my weaponry. Okay then. Now, oopsie, no. Now this looked, or oh, it looked like a pretty shady hallway. So I will leave that for next time when I'm not having such issues with my recording equipment. See you then. <laughs> Thank you.